Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and in this video I'm going to review this PCI Express card for M2 and NVMe SSDs. Okay, so this one arrived from Amazon. It, it costed around 9 euros. And as you can see inside the box we have the small factor plate the card itself, one ca SATA cable, manual and guarantee, okay? So this is the instructions and detailed information that comes in the box. Meanwhile, in the lower part of the screen, I will be displaying all the details about this card. So I will be assembling the card in two different computers with two different SSDs. One would be the M.2 or as originally called the next generation form factor NGFF and the other will be the NVMe SSD. Okay? So if you are planning to use one M.2 like this one, this will require the cable, the SATA cable connected also to the motherboard. Okay, so you will be stealing a connection to a normal SSD. So the only advantage of using this board with one of these is, is, is if you have one spare SSD like this and you want to use it okay so it will not increase the speed of a regular SSD and as I told you it requires a SATA cable connection directly to the motherboard okay so this one I will be testing on this old computer this is a LGA755 core 2 duo and as you can see it's really easy to mount Don't forget the SATA cable for the M.2 Ok, it's connected, so now we just need to boot the machine and check if the BIOS recognized the PCI Express card So this motherboard is a gigabyte and to access the BIOS I will press F12 for the boot menu Okay, so I have several disks attached to this machine and this is the Western Digital 240 gigs and I also have a USB flash drive but this, the P4, is the one we just installed and on that disk I have Linux installed so I'm booting from it just to see that it really works and here we have it, booting ok, it's working really well so yeah uh, I will be doing the crystal disk speed test in Windows here is just to check the, that everything is working ok, so this is this is the disk, I have several partitions, so I told you I have Linux, I have another partition for data and now we are on Windows 10 on the same machine, I have a conventional hard disk and I will be running Crystal Disk Master ok, so this this will be the, the SSD that I don't want to erase so I'm using 
need for carrying data around and I will perform the speed test to the drive C which is the, a regular hard disk drive in this machine so we will be able to compare speed from a regular hard disk drive and then to a M.2 or if you want to call it NGFF and later with the NVMe SSD okay so 6489 and 50 right to right okay so not really fast for an hard disk drive so now we will start the test for the SSD and wow so this is this is the M2 M.2 and we get 284 and 257 so if you still don't didn't change your operating system to uh, an SSD you should do it okay because you will be increasing the speed of your computer like like you never seen before okay so this is the NF NVMe that I also purchased from Amazon it, this one is really cheap I bought it by uh, for 22 euros 120 gigs and this one doesn't require any SATA cable it plugs directly and it will work really well okay so now uh, this is the speed from my Windows 10 machine with also a SATA SSD and as you can see it gives me 401 read speed and write 43.86 and this is a regular SSD from my computer this is another computer it's not the same so this is another tower and now we will be performing the test for the NVMe so I'm changing to drive E and I will start and get back to the to the video with the, the, the result okay so 1546 of read speed 544 writing speed so don't think twice if you want to up upgrade your computer performance on installing one of these one NVMe so I have one already installed directly into the motherboard and so this will be the second one on my machine and I think it was a good business so tell me what you think about it and I catch you on a new video bye bye